Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. All right, normally we try to be cute, we try to banter, we try to chit-chat. Not today. We're skipping that? We're All right. going right to the green. Because nope. there's a lot to talk about. No banter. No banter. We go right on the weather. Here we go. All right, live Pinpoint Doppler 12 showing... We have the green across southern New England, which of course means rain. Quickly, I want to show you what's happening to our neighbors up to the north, northwestern Massachusetts. A Doppler radar indicating some snow. Now, this doesn't mean everything's hitting the ground as snow, but some snowflakes are possible in this region today. Actually, several inches are possible at some of the higher elevations. Could see a few wet flakes in western Rhode Island, but no accumulation expected. Most of us just seeing the plain old rain. All right, we could take a closer look, and you could see the darker shades of green indicating the heavier rain, so it becomes a bit steadier right now between Providence, Pawtucket, down through Cranston. And the yellow is showing up as I pan down across the south shore, so westerly seeing some heavier rain recently. Uh, Brian in Middletown checking in with us. He says it's pretty gusty with some heavy rain there. Caitlin in Warwick is seeing some steady rain. No wind yet. And Jim in Smithfield, you can see the radar showing rain in his neighborhood, and he says the winds are also increasing. So our weather spotters working hard this morning. We appreciate it. And we're working hard to track your Sunday afternoon forecast. Now, of course, we have the Patriots game going on today. And here's how we break down our forecast. Noon time for all you tailgaters, 48 degrees. By 4 p.m., 47 degrees with rain. Some of that could be heavy at times. I think the wind will be the bigger story than the rain by the time the game gets going. So I think some of those easy field goals, field goals the kickers may have a tough time with those as the ball kind of blows around a bit. All right, weather alert. Speaking of that wind, wind advisory from South County, Rhode Island, southeastern Massachusetts, the Cape and Island, that goes from 10 o'clock this morning all the way through the overnight hours, could see some gusts over 45 miles an hour. And these are the areas that we're watching closely for the potential of some power outages. Now, up here in the Providence metro area, even though we are not covered by that, that advisory, still some gusty winds on the way. In fact, a look at recent wind gusts, 25 miles an hour in Newport, up to 22 miles an hour in westerly block island a gust of almost 40 recently coastal flood warning for eastern massachusetts that uh, will peak uh, this afternoon we had seen the potential for a little bit of flooding here in narragansett bay around the fox point area but recent indications tell us that the threat of that is diminishing as we are now past high tide. All right, down city Providence, temperature is 45 degrees. Those winds out of the north at 12 miles an hour. 48, your temperature on Block Island. Look at some of these wind gusts. Middletown reporting a gust out of the northeast at 17 miles an hour, and we are seeing very breezy conditions in Narragansett as well. Temperatures in the 40s right now. Temperatures not really going very far today, back and forth, maybe just a few degrees, but high temperatures in the upper 40s. Here is that big old bullseye precipitation as it continues to approach. Center of low pressure is still out across New Jersey, so even though it's pretty breezy right now, it only gets windier as the center of the storm moves closer to us. So by this afternoon, the rain may start to taper off a little bit, but the wind will continue to pound us. In fact, it may increase a little bit. We go hour by hour in our future cast noontime. Some of that rain could be heavy at times, indicated by the yellows. And then by 8.20 this evening, maybe some of you are driving home from the game by this point, you can see the showers start to taper off. But still some sprinkles possible all the way into Monday. So as we take a look at that seven-day future cast, you can see we're stuck in the clouds all the way through today with the rain and the wind. Monday morning, showers likely. A few sprinkles possible Monday afternoon. Still breezy with a high of 54 degrees. It gets nicer on Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs in the low 60s and then some showers possible Friday evening into Saturday. So all in all, you know, a day maybe to sit inside and watch some TV. Maybe watch the football game. There you go. Sounds like a plan. And yep. if that is not...